companies can can actually say they've had the kind of success that World Ventures has created in the last few years. That there is nothing out there. So the the fire. I suppose the final question. I mean, like you know, Peter. Someone will or some people may look at you and think, well, you know, thirty nine years in the industry that momentous success. I mean, like, how did you get started? You know, like, what's your story? I mean, like, who showed you and how did they show you network marketing? So just maybe just share the story. Well, um, I hope you've got time for this, mate. I mean, you've heard it before. I know that's why you're asking me. I think it's powerful for the other people. <laughs> yeah. Um, <laughs> I went to see the... I, I, we talk about meetings and conditions and we say, you know, you've got to have... Um, get people... Uh, give them the right presentation might be slides might be video it might be you know laptop internet whatever i don't know what you're going to use you're going to push play whatever um you've got these you've got these wonderful youtube videos and everything else about what to do i was i was a copper i was a copper in london as shush mentioned i was in in met police and my sponsor danny um Danny uh, and Diane were my sponsors, um, but I didn't know Diane then because I only knew Danny because he was a mate from the police force. He'd left the police force. He hadn't left the police force to do Amway. He'd left the police force and done something else, but he joined Amway. He rang me. Um, I was in the police canteen. He asked me, he said, do you want to, you know, I've, got, I've come across a business opportunity. I want you to take a look at it. And I said, because it was Danny, and Danny lived, and this is going to sound terrible because I was born in a council house. Danny lived in a council house in Dagenham. I had my own house, okay, in Orpington. So this guy was going to tell me about a business opportunity. Well, I wasn't going to listen to that. So I said, thanks so much, Danny, and put the phone down. Because I judged him based on where he was. Um, he rang me again a few days later, asked me the same question. That thing's going really well, Pete. Would you come and take a look at it? I said, no, Danny, I'm not interested. Put the phone down. Thank God he persisted, because nobody else ever asked me to get into network marketing in 40 years. He was the only one. And the third time he rang me, I was having a bad morning. It was a morning at Southwark Police Station in Borough High Street in London. And I was having a bad morning, and Danny rang me. And I was in the mood to quit the police force. I'd had enough. One of those days, you know, when you've had enough of your job. And he said, Peter, come and have a look. I said, all right, Danny. Okay, all right, mate. Look, when do you want to do it? And he said, and I started telling him what I was going to do for him to show me. He didn't tell me. I took command of the situation, which, you, you know, you're not supposed to let your prospects do this. I said, I'll tell you what, Danny, I'll come over to your place on Friday night. And he said, well, okay, Pete, what do you want to do? I said, let's go to the pub. So we went to his house. I went to his house. We jumped in the car. We drove to a pub, right? We're going to do a business presentation. We got to the first pub back in the 1980. Pubs were rammed with people on Friday nights, drinking, not eating, but drinking. And no pubs sold food. Those were the good old days when pubs were what we used to call boozers. So we went in the pub. Packed, couldn't get in the pub, literally rammed. Went, got back in the car, drove to another pub. That pub was busy, couldn't get in there either. We went to a third pub. We walked in the pub. There was a little tiny round table. It was still very busy. We sat on this little tiny pub table on these stalls. Sat on these stalls as myself, Mary, Danny, and Diane. And Danny, the, the table's covered in beer. We've got beer on the table and everything else. And Danny proceeds to try and show me the plan, the Amway marketing plan on the back of a diary on a piece of paper about that big, right? About, I don't know, three inches by six inches, that about that big. And he starts to show me, on, and I'm sitting there looking at it sideways like this, pretending I understood a word he said. Didn't understand a word of it, because I didn't know, I didn't do very well with maths at school. And he's doing these circles, and he's showing me about how to make money, and I don't understand a word he's saying. He's not showing me any product, I don't know what he's talking about. But opposite to him was Diane, his wife. And she was so excited i thought she was gonna i thought she needed to go to the bathroom she was sitting there sort of like oh god you're gonna love this oh this is fantastic and i thought <clears throat> you know what she needs to go to the loo because she's obviously like really getting so now i pretended to understand what danny was saying but the bottom line was i didn't but what i did get was that diane was excited out of her wits she was excited about what they were doing and i did not have that in my life and I thought, well, I don't understand a word you've said, and I'm not going to let you know that, but I need to find out what it is you're excited about. So I said to Danny, okay, mate, yeah, I got that. What's the product? He said, oh, we'll go back to my house. So we got back in the car. We drove to his house. We finished drinking. Got back to his house. 
and he showed me the Amway soap product. And he spent about an hour and a half demonstrating this soap. And it got to be midnight, and I needed to get up at 5 a.m. to go to work. So I said, okay, Danny, you've seen it all. Okay, I'm going home now. He said, no, 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 no. He said, you, you, you need to give me 25 pounds. I said, what for? He said, you need a kit. I said, what's that? He said, you need some products and some, you've got to sign up. I said, have I? So he said, yeah. So I said to Mary, in those days, you checkbooks. I said to Mary, got checkbook, love. Give Danny 25 quid. And we walked out with a bunch, with a crate full of products and a, and a, and a, like a, an almost leather plastic briefcase with paper in it. We were in Amway. We were in Amway. I couldn't sleep. I went to bed that night. I had to go up at five o'clock. I laid in bed staring at the ceiling. And all I could see was circles and more circles. All my mates were going to sign up. All their mates were going to sign up. All my family were going to sign up. I was going to get, I'm going to get rich. I'm going to be, I'm going to be a millionaire. I'm, I'm going to be rich. This was the first night I couldn't sleep. The following day, I was running around telling people about my business. And I didn't know what I was talking about. All I knew was I was excited. All I knew I was going to, I'm going to be rich. I'm going to change my life. It became history, of course, that I did in fact do that. But the bottom line was it was the most abysmal biz marketing, con you know, business presentation conditions. It was a piece of scrap paper in a diary on a table covered in beer. Um, the product demonstration took an hour and a half. Um, the whole presentation took five hours. And I didn't even know what I bought when I gave him 25 quid. I walked out the door. So please don't tell me you need something to sign. Uh, you know, if we had this, I could do it. If we had this, I could do it. If you had this video, I could do it. If you had these products, I could do it. If we had that trip, I... do not tell me that. I might punch the lights out. At the end of the day, if it's in your heart, if you know you can change your life through this amazing opportunity, you will just do it. And you won't, fight. You won't make people successful, guys. People say, how do you get your people excited? How do you make people excited? The answer is simple. You set fire to yourself, right? And when they get close, you pour petrol on them and they burst into flames. The heat comes from you, not from them. You burn, they catch light. Simple as that. All right? Fantastic. But, I mean, just imagine, just imagine if Danny hadn't called you for that third time. Oh, no. How hundreds of thousands of lives could have got affected, right? Okay. So that is obviously a lesson in follow-up, persistence. You know, sometimes I, I see that people, they contact their, their prospects once and they, they, they don't even pick the phone up. They don't even have a conversation or they don't get a response to a text message nowadays, right? So the bottom line is, is that, you know what, there's going to be people on your list that you need to, you, you know, like I, I've sponsored people in the past. Actually, in my 15 years careers, I've actually personally sponsored around 600 people. So um, I know how to, to do this, right? And I can tell you, there's people that I have pursued. It's not a case of I'm going to show them this. That I have a list of people who like they are going to be in my business, right? And I didn't stop, right? Contacted them until I got them in the business, right? Okay. Yeah, and, and okay, some of them maybe didn't join because it wasn't for them. But, you know, I made sure that I showed them properly with that excitement, enthusiasm. So it's a big lesson. Okay. So sure, uh, can, I just, can I just add one more thing to this, right? Yeah, for sure. It's the same message, but listen. There is no particular way to approach people to ask them to see a business opportunity like this. They will not join. They don't join information. People don't join information. They don't join facts. They don't join um, a glossy website. They don't join. Um, in, they don't join a picture. They join you as a human being. It's interpersonal relationships, right? You don't get pregnant unless you get personal with someone, right? So you cannot make babies unless you get really with someone. Now, here's the point. When I was signing people up back in those days, and I got sophisticated and it slowed down. I got clever. I got, I got professional. And once you become professional, you frighten people away. They, don't, they can't copy you. They can't duplicate professional because they don't know what you're talking about. 
But what they can duplicate is excitement. If you are on fire and you say to someone, shush, I'm sorry, mate, I don't really understand what I'm doing. I don't really understand how it works. But my God, I saw something the other night that you have got to see. You and I are going to get rich. I need you to come to a meeting with me on Tuesday. Don't argue with me, mate. You've known me all your life. You're a friend of mine. You trust me, right? We're going to, I'm going to pick you up in the car. I'm going to take you to this meeting, and you're going to see something that's going to blow your mind. And I need this guy to explain it to you because I don't understand it. All I know is it's, it's, it's the most, one of the most exciting things I've ever seen. You have got to come with me, shush. Don't argue. I'll pick you up. Or I'm going to be there. You need to be there. And you know that I'm not stupid. You trust me. We're good mates. I want you to be in that room with me because I want to share it with you. I can't explain it. I cannot explain what I'm excited about, shush, but you need to see it. Please understand. Don't be stupid. And I actually, people would go, really? What is it you're on? And they would come to find out what I was so excited about. Yes, they didn't all sign up. Some did, some didn't. But they all turned up. And they turned up, almost 95% of them, because they thought, what is this guy on about? Not information. I didn't say, oh, I've got a business opportunity. I think it might work. I'd like to invite you to come and see it. It's a, it's, it's, it's a, it's a very successful company. We're doing rather well. They're going, oh, really? Well, you know what? When you know it'll work, when you're excited about it, when you are absolutely convinced, I'll take a look at it. Because right now I'm busy, right? So people will join you. They will not join information. Okay? Sorry, mate. I just had to... No, no, no. That, that, that was golden, actually. That, that is uh, totally golden information. So um, so we still have another 100 countries to open. I mean, I, 